The Houston Rockets are currently shocking the world. Despite trading two stars in Russell Westbrook and James Harden, the Rockets are thriving right now. The Rockets started off the year with a poor record at just three and six. James Harden clearly wanted out and was creating a toxic environment. But since the James Harden trade, the Rockets have played much better. The Rockets have a very talented team with several guys capable of putting up all-star numbers. And since the Harden trade, the Rockets are playing an elite level of defense. So in this video, we're going to break down how the Rockets are playing so well as of late. But before we continue, please like the video and subscribe as it really helps my channel grow. Now let's get started. For starters, getting rid of James Harden has benefited the team. That's odd to say considering how good Harden is as a player, but before the trade, Harden and the Rockets were in a toxic relationship. It was clear to everyone before the trade that Harden didn't want to be in Houston anymore. He came into trading camp late. It repeatedly expressed dissatisfaction with the franchise, even going as far as to say that the Rockets, quote unquote, just aren't good enough. Which is not good enough. Um... Well, the Rockets have proven James Harden dead wrong because they've won six out of their last seven games, which makes it clear that losing James Harden was addition by subtraction. Why? For one thing, as good as Harden is, when a player acts that toxic, it destroys the chemistry of the team. The Rockets' chemistry has definitely improved since Harden left. John Wall was disgruntled with the way Harden was acting as he reportedly felt that Harden was holding the team back. Furthermore, the Rockets have been one of the best defensive teams since Harden left. The ball movement is better, and they're just overall playing better team basketball. Usually when a team moves a superstar, they get a lot worse, but this is a rare case where the team has actually improved after moving their star. Now let's break down the actual roster. Christian Wood has been the best player on this team. Through the first quarter of the season, He's playing at an all-star level, averaging 22 points in 10 boards a game on an efficient 62% true shooting percentage. He's easily been the biggest steal of last year's free agency. As getting a player of this caliber for just three years, 41 million, is an absolute bargain. So how was Christian Wood playing at an all-star level for the Rockets? Wood is a very good scoring big with a nice all-around game. For starters, Wood is an elite scorer out the pick and roll. He sets strong screens, and thanks to his athleticism, size, and left, he's a good finisher at the basket as a role man. Wood has benefited from playing next to some really nice playmaking guards like John Wall and Oladipo, so when they run two-man game, they can set him up for a bucket quite nicely. And Christian Wood's game is versatile enough where he can not only pick and roll, but also pick and pop. He can knock down mid-range shots, and he can also knock down open three-pointers, where he's currently shooting 40% from three this season. Wood also is really good in isolation. He's got a really good face-up game where he can use jab steps to create space for a mid-range shot. And if the defense plays him too close, he can beat them to the rim for a layup or a dunk. Christian Wood has a really good all-around offensive game, and it's the main reason he's been torching defenders all season. Next, let's break down John Wall's play with the Rockets this season. Wall has arguably the best comeback story this year. Despite coming off a torn Achilles, an injury that typically ends NBA careers, he looks very similar to the all-star talent that he was back in Washington. On the season, Wall is averaging 18 points and six assists per game on a solid 55% true shooting percentage. It was assumed by many after that brutal injury and after two seasons of not playing basketball that Wall's athleticism would fall off a cliff, but that simply hasn't been the case. John Wall could still use his burst and his handles to break down defenders and get all the way to the rim. And at the rim, he's got crafty moves that he could use to finish. One new dimension that Wall has brought to his game has been outside shooting. For most of his career, Wall has been a slashing guard, but a really poor outside shooter. But this season, John Wall is knocking down 37% of his three-point shots. Defenders can't go under screens anymore or give up too much space. Otherwise, Wall is just going to pull it, which makes him a much more dangerous offensive player. Another area of Wall's game that has remained a strength is his playmaking skills. He still has ridiculous court vision and he's very unselfish. 
When Wall draws help defenders on his drives, he's excellent at kicking it out to find open shooters or dishing it to the open big in the paint. Overall, Wall has been a high quality point guard for this Rockets team, which has been a huge part of their recent success. Next, let's talk about Victor Oladipo. The Rockets got back Depot in the James Harden trade, and he's been an amazing pickup for this Rockets team. Oladipo is another guy who was coming back from a major leg injury, but he's rebounded quite nicely. Before the trade, Depot was averaging 20 points and five assists per game for the Indiana Pacers, and he's continued that same high level of production for Houston. After that rough quad injury, many wondered if he would ever get his explosives back. But with the Rockets, Depot has shown that same slashing ability that made him an all-star on the Pacers. He's regularly beating defenders off the dribble and finishing at the basket. And he's also shooting the ball from deep pretty well, knocking down 34% of his threes on a high volume seven attempts a game. He's also been doing a pretty good job playmaking. Oladipo has been great for the Rockets, and it's safe to say that he's regained his elite form. While those three have been amazing for the Rockets, the supporting cast has also been excellent. One of the Rockets' unsung heroes over the years has been P.J. Tucker. If you just look at his numbers, you wouldn't think that he has a huge impact on the game, but Tucker is still a very good defender, a good rebounder, and a hustle guy. And of course, P.J. is still elite at knocking down that corner three. He doesn't put up big numbers, but all the things that Tucker does on the court is a huge part of the Rockets' success. He's the true definition of a glue guy. Another huge glue guy on this team has been rookie sensation Jay Sean Tate. Jay Sean Tate is an undrafted player from 2018 who has recently been starting for the Rockets at small forward and thriving. Similar to Tucker, Tate doesn't put up great numbers, but he still has a huge impact on the game. For starters, Tate is a very good perimeter defender that can guard multiple positions on the court. He's also a really good rebounder on both the offensive and defensive glass. Offensively, Jayshon Tate can hit open threes, he can attack the basket and finish at the rim, and he's a solid passer. Overall, Tate has been a fantastic role player for this Houston Rockets team, and at age 25, he could be a crucial part of their rebuild. That rounds out the starting lineup, but the Rockets also get plenty of contributions from the guys that come off their bench. Eric Gordon, who's been on the Rockets for five seasons now, is great as a six man. He gives the Rockets another guy who could just flat out take over games. He's currently averaging 17 points per game on 46% shooting off the bench. As usual, he brings knockdown three-point shooting, along with the ability to create offense for himself and others off the dribble. He's great for the Rockets to have in their second unit. DeMarcus Cousins has also been a spark for the Rockets off the bench. Coming off a torn Achilles and ACL, it was assumed that Boogie had nothing left in the tank, but he's proving the naysayers wrong. Cousins is currently averaging a solid 9.7 boards and 2 assists per game for the Rockets off the bench. He can knock down 3 pointers, he can make moves off the dribble, and he can also be effective as a passer. Cousins still isn't very efficient yet, but as the year goes on and he continues to find his groove, I'm sure his efficiency is going to go up. Along with those two, the Rockets get some good production from 3 and D players like Daniel House and Sterling Brown. Rookie Mason Jones has also been a solid role player for the Rockets playing good defense while knocking down an astounding 57% of his threes. Together, these guys have been a really strong and deep second unit. Another huge part of the Rockets' success has been their defense. In fact, since the Harden trade, the Rockets have the best defensive rating in the league. Much of this is related to personnel. In the trade, the Rockets got back a very good defender in Victor Oladipo. John Wall has also been good defensively, and P.J. Tucker and Jay Sean Tate have also done a good job of locking up the perimeter. Christian Wood also has been good as a defensive anchor for this team, using his size and length to defend the rim at a high level while also rebounding. When you have five plus defenders on the floor and you instill a strong defensive mindset and communicate, that's how the Rockets currently have an elite defense. So overall, since the James Harden trade, the Rockets have been thriving and playing good team basketball. At this rate, there's no reason the Rockets shouldn't be able to sneak into the playoffs. Overnight, the Rockets have turned a bad situation 
into a good situation where they look like they have one of the best futures in the league. The Rockets will be able to rebuild while staying competitive as they own a boatload of future picks, and some of those picks could turn into high lottery picks, especially if the Brooklyn Nets implode. Overall, the Rockets' present and future look very bright. Anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Tell me what you think of this current Rockets team. Do you think they'll make the playoffs? Tell me in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a single upcoming video. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.